Hey, what's going on, everybody? Anthony Conklin here, your motivational and transformational keynote speaker. How are you doing? Hope you guys had a great day today, sitting here having my glass of wine, kind of thinking about my day, and I had a really busy day today, and I'm excited to share with you some of the things that I had happen to me today that became aha moments for me. So if you guys are brand new to my stream, please press a one in the chat box and let me know that you are brand new to my stream. I want to give you a big what's up and say, how you doing? Big high five and thank you so much for being here. Uh, I am Anthony Conklin. I am your transformational and motivational keynote speaker. I'm coming to you live from Greenwich, Connecticut. And I'm just chilling. Just chilling tonight. I had a fantastic day today and I talk... I had a really great conversation with one of my colleagues today. Hey, what's up, Tristan? Thanks for joining. Sherry, how you doing? Thank you so much. And uh, Ray Johns is in the house, my friend from Money Earning Mount Vernon. Ray, how you doing tonight? Hope you're doing well. A little cheers to you, my friend. And cheers to everybody who, who coming into my stream tonight. I appreciate you being here. So had a couple of conversations tonight. Yeah, thank you so much, Tristan. I appreciate it. Tristan's my buddy from way down under, like way down under. So it's good to, uh, good to catch him uh, Catch him on my stream here. So I had a conversation with a couple different, couple people today, a couple people from different backgrounds, and we were talking about some of the things that we wanted in our lives. You ever have a conversation with someone and they're always talking about things that they don't like or things that they're annoyed about or things that are just really bothering them, and, and they say, can you help me? Can, can you help me? <laughs> I say to myself, well, I can't help you, but you can help you. And the best way to help you is to ask, you, ask that one question. What do you want? What are you trying to accomplish? What's your goal? What do you value? And I know some of that sounds like sales, sales questions, but it's really kind of asking yourself, what is it that I really want? And it's really good to know what you want because you'll never get to some place unless you know exactly what you want. You know, they say when you're on that path, uh, that if, when you're on a path to nowhere, you'll wind up at nowhere. If you don't have a goal or destination defined, you're just going to run around in a circle. They say, how do, you drive a, hey, how do you drive someone crazy? You put them in a round room, tell them there's money in the corner. Well, there's no corner because you're going to wind up getting to a, you're going to get to a place that you don't really intend to. We, we call them unintended consequences. So do you really know what you want? I mean, how many, how many of you really know what you want? Because that's a big question. Press a one in the chat box if you know what you want because then you have to take action behind it. And press a two in the chat box if you're not really sure what you want, but you have an idea what you want. Because I want to go after both of those today. I want to see if I can answer both of those things for you today. So let me know if that's something that, that you want to, to cover in our stream today. So for those of you that, and thank you so much for responding. I appreciate it, guys. If you know what you want, the next question is, what are you doing about it? Are you taking action every day to get you closer to that goal? So here's an example for me. Uh, my goal is to um, to book a you know uh, a five figure speaking engagement by October first, right? And I can just say that. And I can, and, and Shari, thank you so much for putting in your uh, putting in your comment. I definitely want to address that with you uh, in the stream here today. So I had a goal and I wrote it down. In and well, we're going to help you get unstuck, Sandra. We're going to help you get unstuck. So I have uh, this goal written down that I want to have a five speak five figure speaking engagement by October 1st. Now, let me just back that up a second and say, I've had many five-figure speaking engagements through my entertainment company and several through my emceeing uh, ventures. So my goal is, how do I secure another five-figure speaking engagement in October? Well, here's what I said. I wrote down, I want to have a five-figure speaking engagement by October 1st, 2016, I write it down in my journal every single day. Now, instead of just writing it, I'm actually taking a step to get towards that. Here are my steps. I'm calling all the Chamber of Commerce. I'm calling the Lions Club, the Rotators Club. I'm calling small business associations. I'm calling schools. I'm calling high schools, universities. I'm calling um, senior living facilities. I'm calling uh, gatherings and meetups to say, hey, listen, I am really excited and I really want to have an opportunity to speak to your audience. Well, lo and behold, today, I did secure a five-figure speaking engagement this October. It's going to be on the 19th of October here in New York. And I'll be more than happy to share. Hey, what's up to uh, Lori Smith in the house? Lori's pretty awesome. She's from the Robbins Madonna's um, training. She's pretty cool. I had a chance to chat with her today. Lori, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you being here. And Amy as well, thank you for being here. So here's the thing. If you know what you want... 
What are you doing to get there? If you say you just want to lose weight, yeah, that's great. That's, that's really great. What are you doing about losing weight? Because those four or five extra fudge stick cookies or those two or three extra Oreo cookies or those one or two uh, garlic filled chips are not going to get you to your ideal weight. Okay. If you want to open up your own business, well, what are you doing about it? Are you writing down what you're good at? Are you writing down what you're passionate about? Well, yeah, that's great. But what steps are you taking? Are you going to networking events and reaching out to people who are in the industry that you want to be in? Are you, are you calling out to people who are mentors that want to help you, that want to guide you and give you some input on how to get to that next step? And those are some of the things that you need to think about. So for me, it's a matter of writing these things down and then taking a step every single day to get to that, to get to that point. Tony Robbins says, never ever walk away from a goal without taking one action that should get you closer to that goal every day. And I believe that, and you have to do that. Now, for those of you that don't really know what you want, it's okay. A lot of us don't know. It took me a long time to realize what I want. You know, I, I figured, I think this is what I like to do, and this is fun, and I can make some money out of it. But when I realize what I'm passionate about and what I'm really good at, literally I can, I can blink my eyes and do it, and I don't mean that cavalierly. I mean, I can really do it because it's something I truly enjoy. Then I just go after it. I make a phone call. I set up a meeting. I do a Skype call. I'll do a live stream, a FaceTime, a Periscope. I'll, I'll do, you know, wire and cans just to reach people. That's the most important thing. You know, Tristan says a journey of a thousand steps starts with one single step. That's right. The journey of a thousand miles is one step. You got to take one step at a time. One step at a time. So for those of you that fe are feeling stuck and that are, are, are fearing making changes in your life, you, you think of a concept. You know, Steve Harvey had this really great video on Facebook. I want to bring that up. Steve Harvey is, is, is just a phenomenal entertainer, performer, mentor, very, very successful um, actor. And he's done some great stuff. If you look at his video on Facebook, he talks about the concept of jumping. Now, jumping specifically meaning that if you don't jump, if you don't take a leap of faith and get into the business or the industry that you want to be in, that you want to aspire to be in, you're never going to soar. Now, he talks about the concept of the parachute opening. So imagine, imagine you're skydiving for the first time, and you know you're, you're, you're pretty fearful of skydiving, but you're going with a tandem jumper. The likelihood of you going with a tandem jumper increases 50% because you know that the tandem jumper has a parachute that's going to open up. And when the parachute opens up, you're going to soar and you're going to land lightly on your feet. Now, let's fast forward six months down the road and you say to yourself, I'm going to skydive. I'm going to go on that plane. I'm going to jump out of the plane. I'm going to pull the ripcord and my parachute's going to open and I'm going to soar. And what happens is the exhilaration that you get from doing that is going to remove any fear that you ever have of skydiving because that's just the way things are. When you think of fear and you think of things that you're afraid of, 90%, sometimes 99% of the things that you fear never happen. And you never accomplish anything truly fulfilling or satisfying in your life if you don't try to work past that fear. So let me get back to the Steve Harvey concept. Steve Harvey talks about this concept of jumping. Now, you're going to have to jump. So let me try to think verbatim about what Steve Harvey says about jumping. If you don't jump, your parachute's never going to open. You're going to live this regular life of boredom, a life of mediocrity, and before you know it, you're going to wake up, you're going to be 80 years old, sitting in your rocking chair saying, I should have I went skydiving. I should have flown to China. I should have went to Hong Kong. I should have went to Paris. I should have done um, mountain climbing. I should have scaled that mountain in, in, in Arizona. I should have went skiing on the top of that mountain. Because you don't want to live a life of regret. You want to live a life of abundance and, and saying that I tried that and, I, and I've done that. So when you jump, your parachute's not going to open right away. You're going to get cut. You're going to get bruised. And you're going to feel like your parachute's never going to open. But eventually, your parachute is going to open and you're going to just soar. Now, the concept of, of what, what, what Steve Harvey is really trying to say is that when your parachute opens and soars, it's you're taking that, that disciplined, consistent, uh, focused action steps every single day and then eventually it will pop. It will eventually pop. It's sort of like the compound effect. You ever hear the penny theory? There's something called the penny theory. If you read the book, The Compound Effect, by Darren Hardy, he uses something called the penny theory. He says, would you rather have $3 million today or would you rather have the result of what a penny would compound over 30 days? 
Okay, and if you if you know the joke or if you know the if you know the sort of the the lesson here is that you go for the penny because a penny compounded every day at the end of 30 days winds up being over 10 million dollars rather than just taking the money now. So the concept of taking small, consistent, focused action results in massive, massive results. So let me get back to what I was doing this live stream for, because I have a tendency to jump around a little bit, but let me get back on track about knowing what you want. The most important thing is you have to know what you want for you. You have to know that the things that you're doing in your life are making you a better person. Let's say you're a father. How many fathers are out there? How many parents are out there? Press one in the chat box if you're a parent, because I love to talk to the parents right now, because I'm a parent. I'm a dad. I'm a dad of four boys. Okay, so if you're a parent, press one in the chat box because this is this is interesting. So if you're a parent and you're trying to teach your children lessons, you're trying to help them save money, helping them to invest their money, helping them to grow and become the best person they can be. And you're out there blowing your money in Vegas or you're out there, you know, at the track blowing your money or you're you're, you're spending your paycheck and you're not putting anything away. How are you teaching your kids to be the best they can be by investing in themselves or investing their money or putting money in 401ks or putting money in real estate or whatever you choose. I'm not, I'm not here to give you financial advice, but think about, think about that. Think about it for a minute. So, and it, it, Greg, Greg, Greg the man. Make sure you follow Greg Walker. He's a father of one and uncle of 12. He's awesome. Greg, Greg's got a great story. Make sure you follow him on Facebook. He's got great stuff. Thanks, Greg, for joining. I appreciate you, buddy. So if you're not living the example of what you want to teach your children or teach the people around you, you wind up being a hypocrite. I'm not saying that you intentionally want to be a hypocrite or you intentionally mean to be a hypocrite, but if you're not living what you're preaching, then you're, then you're just full of it. You know, 99% of people that are here on Facebook or social media, they're really not telling you the truth. And I don't mean that they're lying. They're not telling you the truth, meaning they're saying one thing and they're living their life a different way. If you are, if you are walking the talk, you are going to get the results. If you're fat, admit it. Say, I'm a fat mofo. Then do something about it. Don't tell people, well, I'm fat and I'm going to lose weight. And you don't do anything about it. Or you don't show people you're on the treadmill. Or you don't show people that you're at the gym. Hey, Jeremy Warner's in the house. Make sure you follow Rush Impact Marketing. Jeremy's got some great stuff. He does Snapchat filters. He does marketing. The guy travels everywhere. Make sure you follow him on Snapchat, too. He's, he's, he's awesome. Awesome dude. Jeremy, thank you for joining, buddy. I really appreciate you being here. So if, you're, if you want to lose weight, don't sit, on, don't sit on, on, uh, on your live streams eating a bag of potato chips or stuffing your face with Burger King or, or McDonald's or Wendy's, right? If, if you want to be, be a motivational speaker, don't sit there and copy what every other speaker does. Nobody wants to hear what everyone... If I want to hear Tony Robbins speak, I'll go listen to Tony. If I want to hear Jim Rohn speak, I'll go listen to Jim Rohn. If I want to listen to Les Brown or John Maxwell or Nick Vujicic or, or, or Gary Vaynerchuk or anybody... Greg Walker, you know, Jeremy Warner. I'll go listen to them. You don't need me to repeat what they say. What they say is their story and it comes from them. Know what you want. If you want to be a speaker, go tell your story from your perspective. Do you be you. Nobody wants to hear quotes from Napoleon Hill anymore. I'm going to pull my hair out. If I watch another live stream with somebody quoting Napoleon Hill or quoting Jim Rohn, I'm going to throw up because it doesn't mean anything. If you're going to use someone else's quotes, show me how it added value to your life. I always use the quote, Simon Sinek. You are the sum average, or actually Jim Rohn, you are the sum average of the five people you spend time with. Well, I can name the five people I spend time with, and four of them are way above me. Three of them are massively above me. One is above me, and one is on my level. So I surround myself with people I aspire to be like. I can't spend time with them every single day, but I know what I want. I want to be like them. I want to be part of their circle. I want to be invited to the dinner table. Do you want to be invited to the dinner table? Press one if you want to be invited to the dinner table. Press one if you want to sit next to your mentor and ask them the million dollar questions. Press one in the chat box if you want to grow your life geometrically. I mean, literally geometrically. Press one in the chat box if you want to do that. Because if you want to do that, you have to take action every single day. And it's going to be when you don't want to do it.
but you have to do it. There's just no way of doing it all. Thank you, Sandra. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm, it's not about the motivation. It's about living that life. It's about living that life. If you want to grow your life, Gina wants to grow her life geometrically. Gina, thank you so much. You want to grow your life geometrically? Then you need to take action every single day. I have to go work out with my trainer tomorrow. I haven't worked out with him in a week because I was away in, 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 uh, I was away in uh, Vegas. Okay, but I worked out. But I did not. <laughs> Greg, thank you, Greg. Greg, I want to sit next to Greg Walker. I want to have dinner with him. So I dread working out with him tomorrow because I haven't worked out with him a week. But you know what? I got to do it. If I want to keep, if I want to keep my weight down, my blood pressure down, my cholesterol down, if I want to feel exciting, and if I want to dance like Michael Jackson or I want to dance like the running man, I have to get in the gym. I have to watch what I eat. I have to be consistent. I need to walk out of that gym every time I get there. You got to be like Greg Walker. You got to put that whole vest thing on and be on the treadmill. You got to be profusely sweating out of every pore in your skin. Because that's what being successful is all about. Know what you want. So let me, let, me, let me turn the page a little, guys, here, and give you this to think about. If you know what you want, what are you doing about it? How are you showing that you're being accountable for what you want? Take action. For those of you that don't know what you want, share it with me. Share it with people that you know, like, and trust. We can't tell you what to do, but we can guide you. We can put you on a path. But you have to do it for yourself. They say you, can't lead, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink them. You can't make them drink the water. You can't. You have to lead people, you know, lead people to, that, to that end. Martin Luther King said, I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I've seen the promised land. And all he was saying was, is I've seen where things are going, but I may not make it with you. Unfortunately, he passed away that next day. He was assassinated. John F. Kennedy says, I am going to send someone to the moon by the end of this decade. And unfortunately, he didn't live to see it, but we sent someone to the moon. We didn't have the technology. We didn't know how we were going to do it. We don't know how much it was going to cost, but he committed to it. And he put people on point to take the action necessary to get to the moon. Abraham Lincoln passed the Emancipation Proclamation. Okay. No one ever thought that that would ever happen. It's happened. It changed history forever. Now, I don't want to get political, guys. I'm just giving you examples. Steve Jobs wanted to make a ding in the universe. He did it. Thomas Watson wanted to make a ding in the universe. Napoleon Hill wanted to make a ding in the universe. Do you want to make a ding in your universe? And your universe can just be you and your family. You don't have to go out and do what Bill Gates does or what Warren Buffett does or, or Sir Richard Branson or Tony Robbins or Joe Polish or, or, or Scott Stevenson. You don't have to do what these guys do. You need to do what you need to do for you. Know what you want out of life and take one action every single day that gets you closer to the goal. Because the second you get to that goal, you're just going to go to the next and go to the next, go to the next. I'll leave you with this really cool thing that I learned. Hey, Nick, how you doing? I've learned this really great concept from my, uh, from the guy who's training me in the gym. He goes, Anthony, most people train at 60% of their capacity, which means when you go to the gym and your heart starts racing and you can't breathe, that's you thinking you're at 60% capacity. That's you thinking you're at uh, that, that's you thinking you're at 100% capacity when you're really only working at 60, maybe 65. What the trainer does, okay, you're here. He wants to get you to here to get you to 90 to 100%. What happens is as you train and as you get closer where you think your 90 is, your 100% moves up. So in actuality, you're not doing this. You're doing this. Because as you get stronger and as you get more fit and as you get more into your workouts, your 65% is now your 30% because you're now at your 90%, which is now your new 65 because your body is getting stronger every single day. You need to grow your life and become stronger every single day. And knowing what you want and taking the actions to get there is so critical. What are you doing to define what you want? Stop listening to videos. Stop listening and take action. Know what you want and take an action every day. And I promise you'll get to your promised land. Guys, I'm so grateful that you spent some time here with me today. I appreciate you being here. Uh, for those of you who just joined, my name is Anthony Conklin. I am a keynote speaker, motivational, transformational speaker. I work with entrepreneurs and millennials who want to 
find their passion and their purpose and connect it with their why. You know, Simon Sinek talks about people don't, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. Your why is who you are. It's where you live every single day. It's why you get up in the morning. It's why Jeremy Warner gets up in the morning, hops on a plane and he Snapchats. It's why Greg Walker gets up in the morning, he gets on a treadmill and puts that freaking harness on him and he talks about all the great, wonderful things he does. It's about how he inspires people. It's about how he shows people every single day because he lives in his why. Your why is who you are. It's what you're born with. It's what you grew up to be. It's what you're going to die with. So between now and when you get that phone call from upstairs, live in your why every single day. I'd love to come speak to your organization. I actually got hired today to go speak to a recruiting company in California, so I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna be speaking to a, a team of 10 people that are high wealth individuals, um, high producers in the recruiting business, and they wanna get re-inspired and how they can find their why. You can find me at anthonyjconklin.com. I'm at Anthony J. Conklin everywhere on Twitter. I'm also on, uh, on Insta I keep forgetting, I'm on Instagram um, at anthony.ace. You can find me there. And I'm here at Anthony J. Conklin on Facebook. So track me down. And I'm also at anthonyjconklin.com. Reach out to me. Love to come speak to you guys. I'm so excited to be here. And I'm so blessed and so grateful that you've given me some of your time tonight. Thank you for being here with me. I do appreciate all of you so very, very much. And I love all of you guys as well. So before you go to bed tonight, please do me a favor. Whether you look in the mirror or look in your iPhone, look at yourself and say these words. I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> you have greatness within you. You were born with greatness. And it's your job and your responsibility to live that greatness. You have a special gift. And you need to live it every single day. So do that before you go to bed tonight. And I promise you'll have great dreams and you'll sleep like a baby. Thank you, guys. Have a great night. I love you. And we'll see you next time.